Okay, so the first one will be the uh, title. Uh, title. So please insert your title from your full reports over here. So if you are doing the modeling works, uh, it will be this uh, example. Okay, if you are doing the fabrication work, I think majority uh, or most of you 100% are doing the fabrication work. So you refer to this uh, fabrications of whatever things that you want to highlight for your machine, uh, the novelty of it. Uh, and then your intended user towards the end. Okay, so I, I think that one shouldn't be a big problem for you lah. Huh? Tidak anda menjadi masalah yang besar. Second one yang anda perlu masuk adalah uh, author. Okay, anda sebagai penulis. Jadi anda masukkan nama anda dan uh, group members anda di dalam. Dan nama yang terakhir itu masukkan nama penyelia. Nama penyelia itu boleh masuk ke nama yang terakhir sebagai author dia. So, uh, huruf besar. Eh, huruf besar ini. Jadi, uh, tempat anda adalah di Jabatan Kejuteraan Mekanikal lah, Politeknik Kucing Sarawak yang bertempat di uh, negara Malaysia lah. Ini adalah address. Yeah. Dan uh, yang ada star ni, depan ini adalah corresponding author. Jadi, corresponding author ini Uh, boleh letaklah email anda. Email anda boleh letaklah di sini. Jadi mohon berbuat demikian. Uh, yang ini juga very straightforward. Uh, jangan ubah. Make sure dia adalah uh, capital, capital upper case lah, upper case. So mohon berbuat demikian dalam masa 2 minit. Okay, isikan. Info-info ini masukkan group member anda dan nama penyelia anda dekat dalam. Okay, so if you have no further problems on that, okay, so I will proceed to abstract. Eh? Abstract. So abstract is also supposedly eh, you you should write. Uh, very good abstract okay uh, in your project 2 or so project 2 full report you should submit abstract in bm and bi la english so uh, the abstract guideline will be more or less like this okay it will be like this lah so what is the abstract actually abstract is actually uh, when they read one paragraph of your abstract is the advertisement of your article okay a, a very clear abstract lah is actually needed because uh, once you read the abstract, if you find it interesting, okay, uh, it's uh, actually readable and understandable, then only you will continue reading the content of your uh, manuscript or your report itself. Okay, that's why uh, writing an abstract should consist of all the elements lah, from A to Z. So starting with your introduction and your problems, you go to the methods and so on. So a one whole paragraph is all. It will consist of everything there. So you need to ensure that uh, your abstracts is uh, have all the elements that uh, are required. Huh? So abstract wise will be three hundred words. It's actually limited to 300, 350. lah. Okay. So most of the publisher. So once you do searching online, Google, you go search. They will make this abstract uh, free lah, available. Okay, that means free access. So you are able to read through. So if you find that you you have some interest in the content through the abstract, then only you will purchase that paper. Okay, of course this JOSTEC uh, is an open access journal, which may, means that you tak perlu bayar. Okay, a lot of articles the the young the the others, uh, Xavier and so on, uh, Springerling. Uh, perlu berbayar, huh? tapi Jostek ini is uh, open access journal, so tak perlu bayar, anda boleh baca. So it's from the abstract lah. So how we are able to cons construct this abstract? The guideline will be, okay, you look at the color, huh? so yang warna hijau ini, warna hijau ini, it's an introduction, okay, it's an introduction. Warna yang merah ini, highlighted merah itu, this one will be the problem statement. So where should you actually uh, extract this information up? 
uh, introduction is actually available in your uh, full report in chapter 1, 1.1. When you write 1.1 actually, you write down more or less the elements of the introduction, right? The 5W and 1H. So you need to actually extract up, okay, the essential uh, information that you, you plan to put in. And then problem statement will be available in your 1.2. Right after your introduction in your full report, it will be your problem statement. So second part here will be the problem statement. Okay, after that, this color, the gray color one, it will be your objective, your aims. What is your aims for your project? Okay, your, or your objective. Lah. So it's actually available to you in chapter 1.3. This one, chapter 1.3. Okay, after that, after you have mentioned your M, then you need to go to the chapter 3 to abstract the methodology. Okay, the methodology is actually available in chapter 3. Then, after you have completed your machine, actually, you must did some uh, pre post testing, right? Post testing. So, your post testing. Or whatever result that you have in chapter 4, you can write it in the one highlighted in yellow color. And last and for all, the, the ending part uh, of the abstract should consist of some discussion or what we call the conclusion. Uh. Okay, better you go to the conclusion, chapter 5. So from chapter 5 there, you abstract one or two sentences, the, the highlights uh, of the conclusions that you want to mention. So this one will be your abstract gap line. So I would like to give you maybe five minutes to do abstract, uh, the draft of abstract. Eh? So intro can, and problem statement, it can go to one to three sentences. Lah. But if you have four, then it's quite acceptable also. Lah, huh? So objective wise, normally we will put in one to two sentences, well, normally one. Lah. Okay, then methodology might be quite lengthy, okay, because you need to actually describe in a very detailed form. However, you need to actually abstract the essential one only, eh? essential one only, more or less what is the material and the method that you have used uh, in your fabrications. Then significant result, okay, for your uh, post-testing, what are the significant findings that you have? So that one, one, two to three sentences. Lah. And last and for all, your conclusion. So please go to the uh, respective chapters uh, or sub-chapter to actually obtain the information that you need for this abstract. So this one, I give you five minutes to do so. Five minutes. Eh? Continue again. Okay, step number three will be the keywords guideline. Eh? Keywords guideline so after you have actually come up with the abstract uh, the bottom part of the abstract normally will be keywords lah. okay so keywords will actually uh, indicates the important points uh, that you like to highlight for your paper and it uh, for this journal lah, actually it's only limited to six keywords only six keywords okay so you can use uh, keywords from your title lah. So you go to your title actually, so extract which one you want to highlight. Because normally in Google, when you do some searching, so your keywords will pop up first. It will be based on the, the items that you search. Okay, so keywords can be like for this this one, lah, send filtering machine can be filtering machine. Uh, you want to highlight the novelty, okay, the substance, okay. And then this one is for the construction, lah, the feel of it. So this one is also very straightforward. Uh, go to the title and then select some keywords that you would like to highlight to represent this paper actually. Okay, this one I give you two minutes to do so. Two minutes, very straightforward. We are halfway already because we only have app step, right? So now we are in step number four. Huh? Step number four. So right after you have construct the first patch, then you will go to introduction. Okay. So introduction here, uh, it will be quite lengthy, lah, quite lengthy. So this one, maybe I will allocate around 10 minutes for you. So what you really need to come up in this introduction, okay? So for this introduction, as you see, this one is the 
uh, example on my right hand side is the example so the guideline your guideline is only this one so as you see you have the single spacing you have the font here the the font size and so on okay justified centralized central and so on you need to follow uh, this one okay so what is the introduction so you are telling a story actually yeah so in this uh whole writing lah, writing things you are actually telling a story so an introduction it uh, set the scenario lah. it's an initial starting point okay uh, you you are going to start from here so we we don't try to conclude everything in the uh, introduction of course we still have other uh, parts of it in the manuscript so what happened is uh, what you you need to actually uh, construct lah, your introduction so first of all the first uh, or the second paragraph itself lah, you can go to your chapter 1.1 okay chapter 1.1 i believe that you already write all the elements that is uh, needed for your project that's mean you already intro 5w and 1h lah, about your project in chapter 1.1 so over there actually you can copy copy the whole thing and then we try to restructure it okay we try to restructure it to be normally we will start with what lah. okay then who is the intended user normally then where when how and we'll end with why lah. so why actually your project is very crucial why you need to come up with this new innovation or new invention itself okay so this all element should be there in your paragraph one to two then normally if you want to set off it will be very interesting if you know what is happening to the world okay before you go to the local trend lah. so you can actually narrow it down to uh, within malaysia or within kuching or within sarawak lah. so what is actually the scenario is uh, the current trend what is happening now we related to your project huh? of course related to your project that one will be the first uh, initial uh, first on second paragraph okay then after that after that uh, you need to go to your chapter 2 in your chapter 2 actually you you did the literature review for your project so over there you go extract uh, whatever history related to that project okay the method which is av available the design which is av available okay the literature about the essential component for the uh, control system writer and you have all the modern method and so on so everything in chapter two there you should you, you can consider actually extracting that information to put in into paragraph three to four three to four okay last and for all to end this introduction normally you will go to problem statement again okay so you go back to your problem statement again and then you extract the background Okay. how do you describe the problems that you want to solve for this project then set up your objective okay set up your objective and you end with scope and limitation scope and limitation there so uh, for this uh, introduction if you plan to put in any figures feel free to do so eh? feel free to do so but of course you need to put in your figures with caption Okay, put in your figures with caption and that particular figure must be referred to in your explanation here. Okay, or if you want to put in any table, if you have any data, okay, any figures, any tables, feel free to insert also in your introduction. Uh, but this table must be referred to. Lah. Okay, you must refer to this table in your explanation in that uh, introduction section okay so you can see this one on my left hand side is the guideline so on my right hand side here will be the uh, example lah. it might not be the best but at least serve some guideline for you some uh, example for you lah, to have a look so you can scan this one through and then try to go to the respective uh, chapter and extract the information for this one i give you 10 minutes eh? 10 minutes to do so Okay, I will resume this one to the methodology session. Uh, methodology session.
So methodology is from chapter three, eh? is in chapter three actually. So what will be the objective for your methodology chapter three? Eh? So the reader should be able to reproduce the fabrications book. Okay, that will be the M. Eh? And over here, your explanation should be past 10. Eh? Should be past 10 because you already did all the processes already. So it normally will start off with, you can put in this one uh, on my right hand side will be the example of it. So you can start off with your flow chart, okay? Your project two flow chart, okay? Then from here, okay, what is your initial stage? Initial uh, process will be you're going to start with design process normally. Lah. So for the design process, you can put in your inventor drawing over here. So you put in your inventor drawing before your fabrications work. So over here, you are recommended actually uh, to insert all the photos that you have. Okay, if you have a lot of photos here, then it will really help with your explanation. So you need to have uh, photos. Okay, for example, this one will be the uh, upper body fabrications. Okay, using welding methods. So you are going to elaborate it, and then the second part of it third part, and so on, okay, until the installations of the control system, if you have a control system, so how do you actually fabricate the control system before, if you have a, uh, you did some pre-test or post-test or so, okay, you can insert everything, the method, huh? insert the method only, not the result, insert the method inside here, okay, so, please, uh, Go to your chapter 3, go to your chapter 3 in your full report and uh, insert all the contents for the methodology section. So for this one, maybe 5 minutes, 5 minutes because it will be available in chapter 3. We will proceed to step number 6. Eh? Step number 6, this is where you put in all your results. Okay. So in these sections, you will put in all the data, okay, all the data, all the findings that you have in your project. So in order for you to do so, uh, figures and tables, uh, normally, uh, normally we would like to see a lot of tables and figures. That one will be the more sufficient way uh, or more attractive ways to actually present your result. So explanation, uh, once you have that, particular figures or tables, you should explain, okay? You should explain, give some description, explanation, okay? For that particular figure or tables. And if possible, uh, if possible, you compare your result with others, okay? With your literature review findings, okay? With your literature review. So uh, what are the contents that you can put in for your result? Okay, mainly will be from your chapter 4. Mainly will from your be chapter 4 in your final report. So please go to your chapter 4 in your final report. So at first, if you are doing the fabrication work, eh, this one is for design author. So those who will write about the design, you should have a complete machine itself. Lo, the figure, the, the photos of that. Okay. So that will be the first thing you put in normally for a fabrications, eh? applied uh, research. So the, the machine itself, then you need to explain. Eh? This one is for control system author. You should have this explanation regarding the machine itself. Okay, regarding the machine. How do you actually operate your machine? Operation of the machine. Eh? So you can use arrow, you can use whatever uh, text form to actually uh, embed to the, together with your figures eh, to, to enhance your presentation here. So for those who write author for pre-testing or post-testing, uh, you must did some pre-test and post-test. Therefore, as been mentioned before this, you should have some graph, some pie chart or for the survey, eh? survey that you did already, you must have some pie chart and so on. So please present your data in this result section. So of course, you can put in table also. Table is for your cost, eh? your cost. 
or your cost put in uh, in a table form and then you need to explain uh, explain give some brief explanation on the uh, table one here for example okay so the this will be the examples of the uh, content okay the information that you can insert inside this step number six okay step number six result so please go to your chapter four uh, chapter four so another example for you as you can see this one is the completed machine okay then how is the operations of that particular machine okay so the process of it okay how do you actually operate that machines okay you insert the raw material whatever substance of interest then what are the processes and the uh, final outcome itself okay final outcome then if you are able to compare it with your literature review it will be better eh? make a comparison with the machine which is available in the market so you make a table of it then you explain the the, the table eh? and you should have a cost itself eh? so the cost you put in in a table also then you explain eh? give some brief explanations for the cost so that will be the content for your uh, result okay result section so chapter four eh? it will be available in your chapter four so please go to your chapter four and do so in five minutes please five minutes i should proceed okay so we are in step number seven okay then we will end with step number eight step number eight uh, it's very straightforward if you are using the uh, tools which is given to you lah, which is in your words or you are using mendeley even better lah, or you are using and nots okay okay never mind we'll go to step number seven first step number seven is the conclusions so what you need to uh, reiterate in your conclusions eh? conclusions here you need to actually give the significant findings okay significant findings and you should include the contribution eh? contributions of your project so normally this one will be available in your chapter 5 because in your chapter 5 you also make a conclusions right okay so the first thing that you need to ask yourself will be have you achieved your objective so your your first objective will be always to fabricate whatever machine right so that one i think most of you lah, uh, will be you have these sentences here the objective of this project is successfully achieved okay as the fabrications of whatever whatever machines have been produced so that went very straightforward then second one you need to actually reiterate your significant findings what are the results that you already obtained eh? okay the result that you already obtained in your chapter four the significant one that you want to highlight so put in here and last and for all we will end this uh, conclusion session with your suggestion okay normally you will put in suggestion so suggestion so so it will be available in your chapter five right chapter five the last section of your report you should give some suggestions on how do you actually in in the future can improve your uh, machine your your project so whatever uh, suggestions that you give for future experiment or project lah, so I'll put in over here okay so please uh, do so uh, in three minutes maybe this one three minutes okay so you can look at the example of the sentences uh, over here okay and then uh, follow this guideline huh? first answer your objective second one reiterate your significant findings and last and for all give a suggestions You can give a few suggestions, eh? not only limited to one, uh, two, to two to three suggestions. Okay, so the last part for the manuscript writing will be your references. So references, as I mentioned before, eh, we are going to use APA, eh? APA style okay so if you are using words uh, it will be available over here so if in mendeley mendeley have a different uh, uh, 
also the almost the same lah, huh? just you go to select the citations are like as APA so ensure that uh, you have all the references that you use in this manuscript huh? especially in uh, introduction session okay if in the methodology sessions you have some uh, citations or during your result section when you present your result here so if you have some uh, citations here okay the source so make sure that you have insert it inside it as your references so the the most tedious part will be this one huh, normally okay you need to ensure that you will follow the APA style, APA style, APA style with the author come first, then you have the year, then you have the titles, okay? Then, of course, you need to provide the URL. So, if you want to do this one manually, it will be quite tedious, lah. okay? So, please uh, utilize whatever software that which is available and ensure that uh, it's a single spacing, uh, single spacing. So, if you have all this, uh, manuscript written then you insert it uh, using insert citation over here so this one it will be very straightforward huh? very straightforward you go to the biography insert biography then setter that one will be the last part huh? for this uh, manuscript writing okay so it's uh you can do this one right after this no problem just ensure that you have all the references all the uh, informations that you want to cite, it's inside there first.